Hi everybody, this is Bhupati Raj, Mantra IAS Academy, Hyderabad. And uh, the second, of course, I have started uh, General Knowledge Improvement Program, or you can say General Studies for Civil Service Examination and other examinations also. It is very helpful for all these examinations which I have mentioned. So, just I can tell you, same, the, like a question it is, and at the same time, four options. Four options I can give you that you have to just choose from that one. If you have the notebook, immediately just do, otherwise, just listen to it, it's enough. Now the first question in the second uh, part of General Awareness Program are General Studies for Civil Services. Now the question number one here. Which of the following two states have a common high court? I can give you four options please. Which of the following two states have a common high court? Option A. Haryana and Punjab. Option B. Andhra Pradesh and Telangana. Option C. Kerala and Tamil Nadu. Option D. Gujarat and Maharashtra. Could you please tell me? Yes. Previously, of course, we had uh, only one high court for Hyderabad and telling this Andhra Pradesh, but it is now it's separated. Now, the option for this question is Haryana and Punjab. Still today, they have the common high court. Second question What is the retirement age of the Chief Justice of India? We can say CJI. What is the retirement age of the Chief Justice of India? Yes, option A, 60 years. Option B, 65 years. Option C, 72 years. Option D, 75 years. Yes, you are right. Everybody, I, of course, almost all, each and every candidate of the aspirant, you can say, aspirant of every examination. Definitely know this question. That option is 65 years. Right answer. Who among the following can be removed? I am going to read out four names here. Four options, of course, obviously. Who among the following can be removed from the office without impeachment? You know well, even of course, because as a faculty of Indian polity in my academy, that uh, first I have taken up these questions today, Indian polity questions. Right, who among the following can be removed from the RP this from the office without impeachment? You know what is impeachment? Well, right, otherwise, just refer that you can get it. And uh, option A, President of India, option B, Governor of a state, option D, CJI, option D, CEC that is called as Chief Election Commissioner. Question is, be cautious. Who among the following can be removed from the office without impeachment? Without impeachment, yes. Right. President will be removed without, uh, no, no. That is to remove the President of India. We need, it's a very wonderful program and a big process, impeachment. At the same time, Chief Justice of India also same. Now the answer for this question is, Governor can be removed without impeachment. So option is B. Now, question number, uh, we can say, Fourth here. Yes. Who administers the oath to a newly elected president? Please remember, this of course, uh, listen to me very carefully. Who administers the oath sermon? Newly elected president. Right. Option A, Speaker of Lok Sabha. Option B, Vice President of India. Option C, Chief Justice of India. Option D, Chief Election Commissioner. Right. Who organizes the oath sermon of uh, President of India? That is Chief Justice of India, please. Exactly right answer from your side. No doubt, I know you are giving the answers. Now the next question, these are of course I have taken four political, I can take all the, all the topics in fact, uh, science and technology, polity, economy, each and every part will be covered. And better you please practice all these things and it is a foundation plan of yours. Even lucky if, if, if everything is favorable and sometimes we can get the question directly also in the examinations in some cases. Yes, this is a very good question, please. Subramanyam Chandra Shekhar was awarded the Nobel Prize for Physics in 1983. You know well. You have an idea about this one. I am repeating that. Yes, Chandra Shekhar. Call his what? Subramanyam Chandra, Subramanyam Chandra Shekhar was awarded the Nobel Prize for Physics in 1983 for I'll give you four options here you can see in the question format in 1983 for dash option A finding a new galaxy 
option b finding the temperature of sun option c studies related to the structure and the evolution of stars d none it's a very important question my youngsters right the option is definitely c that is studies related to the structure and the evolution of stars next question please which space vehicle which space vehicle put man on the moon for the first time just you have to tell the vehicle name option a apollo option b challenger option c columbia option d explorer yeah this word every day we can watch it on each and every street we can find this word yes apollo apollo pharmacy we can find that one right but the word is basically from this one it's apollo next question please go to this a very good question now i told you in the previous uh, video and i asked you that the very first veda you can say that in this very first veda is what rigveda i told you but my question friends today what is the meaning of veda that's the basic question and i will ask in the question format itself i'll give the four options what does the word veda signify what does the word veda signify option a king's rule option b knowledge of wisdom option c yajna or yagna option d dance now the question even i told you already in a question format in a general format i am asking what's the meaning of veda otherwise veda is nothing but what yes knowledge or wisdom yes next question it's from uh, buddhism of course lord buddha regarding his uh, even last time also i asked a question buddha banit lumbini i told you that and uh, the first council and second council after death of buddha that occurs one two three i told you that right even patali putra i told that new name is patna like that now today one question upon the same wonderful personality in which language in which language did buddha teach simple to his disciples and to the common people it's not an issue in which language did buddha teach option a sanskrit option b prakrit option c pali option d telugu yeah please tell me the answer yes buddha's that language is pali language even in future we are going to have different type of questions upon the same buddhism and you know that's called as tripithakas the holy books of buddhism is called as what tripithakas even you know the names also like sutta pita vidama pit and you know all the things of course well now go to the question number okay i'll take the next bit here please in which year in which year did india became in which year did india become a member of the unwo yes in which year did india become a member of the united nations organization unwo option a 1948 option b 1947 option c 1946 option in 1945 yeah please yes from the beginning we are in that of course we are the member of that un organization from the beginning and you know it's established in which year the same year answer for this one it's in 1945 exactly the right answer now please go to the very good question here right in which country mount everest is known as sagar mata my question is in which year sorry not year in which country mount everest is known as sagar mata i am taking the first option here myanmar option b bhutan option a myanmar option b bhutan option c nepal option d india could you please tell the answer right that's nepal exactly mount everest you know if a specific thing and it has its own significance world tallest you call anything right that is sagar mata 
in Nepal. Next question. Who is the highest civil servant of the union government? It's your favorite question, please. As an IAS officer, after of course completing a few years, all training and all, and uh, wonderful place, Mussoorie, even you can have complete all the things. Of course, you can join as a sub collector, I hope so, in the beginning. Then, you can, of course, upgrades like that. And the uh, very highest position of the IAS officer, it's a dream of every IAS aspirant, of course, otherwise, IAS, every IAS officer, every IAS officer wants to be in that place. My question is not only now, who is the highest civil servant of the union government? Option A, Health Secretary. Option B, Home Secretary. Option C, Cabinet Secretary. Option, option D, Principal Secretary to the Prime Minister. I will repeat, I think you know very well nowadays what, because of this COVID-19, uh, Mr. Lau Agarwal. Yeah, every day we are watching him that of course, we are just... Uh, uh, and TV is of course every day, right? At the same time, he is health secretary. At the same time, what? Cabinet secretary, home secretary, and uh, option D, I told you that principal secretary to the prime minister. What is the answer? It's your favorite question. You have to achieve this goal. You have to be in this place in your future. You can, my dear, definitely you are going to be that officer. Tell me. It's cabinet secretary is the top rank. Yeah, option B. I think it's option C, right? Next question. Who was defeated in the third battle of Panipat in 19, 1761? Just yes, I discussed yesterday regarding 1526, the first battle of Panipat between Babur and Ibrahim Lodi, I told you. Now my question today, third battle of Panipat in 1761, that is of course who was defeated in this war? Option A, Mughals. Option B, Marathas. Option D, Rajputs. Option D, Six. Right. Option is Marathas. Then, next question. Who among the following was the most important item of import by the Chola rulers? They used it to import very one of the things that I am going to mention ABCD now. That I am talking about Chola rulers. Very wonderful thing to understand this actually. See, we can import now gold, we can import technology, we can import so many things from now, of course, outside India. In those days, what Cholas imported from outside? That's called as option A, pearls, option B, precious stones, option C, horses, option D, wine. Tell me the answer. Right. Cholas imported horses. I want to tell you one more point regarding the horse. You know, Bajaj Chetak was in a vehicle actually we have, a scooter. Right? Chetak, this was one of wonderful personalities of Indian, of course, in the history. It was, uh, a name has been, of course, it has given to one horse, a wonderful king. His horse name was Chetak. Who was he? Rana Pratap. Yes, Rana Pratap's horse name was Chetak. Next question. Who was the, of course, I'll give you four options in the same style. Who among the following Mughal emperors hung a chain with bells outside his palace? For the people to call him any time, day or night, for grant of justice, we can say Dharma Ganta, right? The same style here. Who among the following Mughal emperors hung a chain with bells outside his palace for the people to call him any time, day or night, for grant of justice? I am giving the options Akbar, option B Jahangir, option C Shah Jahan, option D Aurangzeb. Now tell the answer. Right. Answer is exactly Jahangir. If, if I want to tell you about Akbar one point here. My youngsters, you have idea of course, very almost any people might have finished your preparation of your ancient, medieval and modern India also. 
the point of reading we have a special space for uh, reformers also right and uh, rajaram mohan roy a wonderful personality and he tried to remove sati also before that a mukal ruler opposed sati who was he that's akbar remembered right akbar tried to remove sati that's a deep thing next question next bit please how much time the moonlight i'm talking about the moonlight not sunlight please don't be in confusion i'm talking about moonlight how much time the moonlight takes to reach the earth option a 13 seconds option b 30 seconds first option is 1 3 seconds baba option b 3 0 seconds option c 1.3 seconds d 13 minutes now please tell the answer it's only 1.3 seconds exactly right answer option c that now even we have covered in the previous video in the first of course first gk now i can say i want to widen this it's general awareness and you can see general studies because some questions are quite important and it will be in your exam level of course so better follow this one and feel it has daily half an hour a simple revision of all the thing better watch my video and better subscribe for this one it's definitely helpful for you even if i am not charging it's just with free of cost you know definitely only for the sake of helping to my youngsters because of course you are expert you have idea about all the things no doubt but it's a, a simple support from my side and the people those are starting their preparation it's very important for them that's what of course and for you pe people for you all it's a revision that's a multi angle application that's major intention of mine to start this program next question which planet is nearest to the sun i told the same answer yesterday of course i mean uh, question was different in that discussion i told you the same point which planet is nearest to the sun option a saturn option b earth option c mercury option d venus yes it starts my mother we can have a statement is there that i can tell when it is needed not now so the first m is there that's mercury next question here which planet is brightest hottest and closest to the earth we have three points in this case please which planet is brightest hottest and closest to this earth earth option a earth option b mercury option c venus option d jupiter please tell the answer obviously earth is not the answer because the question itself is it so option is venus i have covered yesterday that is what uh, hottest planet even i have asked already that is a hint to you here answer is venus next question go to the other point here who was the president of india when prime minister indira gandhi declared emergency in 1975 you know unfortunate days of course the emergency time in india that's in 1975 declared by of course president of india only but uh, who was the president right who was the president of india when prime minister of india indira gandhi prime minister indira gandhi declared emergency in 1975 option a nilam sanjeev reddy option b zail singh you can say he is called as ginani zail singh option c vivi giri option d fakhruddin ali ahmed right answer is exactly d that is fakhruddin ali ahmed next question shivaji was shivaji is a very wonderful guy and a very powerful personality in the indian history of marathas and he gave a specific space now shivaji's war strategy yudh war strategy used against the mukhals was dash option a large army option b alert army option c guerrilla war warfare option d nan a sudden attack that's called as guerrilla warfare yeah guerrilla warfare is option c that's next question please 
I'll go to the other one here. Right, this question here. An astronaut in, a, in outer space will observe the sky as. You understood, no? Because for an astronaut, how he can, of course, while watching the sky, what was the color? That's the main thing here. An astronaut in outer space will observe the sky as option A, white, option B, black, option C, blue, option D, red. Yes, option is black. He observed that as black colored one. Next question. Yeah, this is what little uh, same thing I am taking in a specific manner, of course, in a special style. I am focusing on some content today. Later, I can extend the other one. In third, uh, that is what in next one tomorrow I will give you the other one. When is World Health? Okay, I can just simply change. You know, WHO, it's a very everyday we are watching that World Health Organization. I think this is the established today. It is definitely the same question here. When is World Health Day observed every year? Every year we can observe the World Health Day on which date? Option A, April 5, Option B, April 7, Option C, April 17, Option D, April 18. Yes, no doubt it's a lockdown period we have from April it is continuing. Still it is there up to May 17th we have Prime Minister of India. Of course not even Prime because it's tough. Uh, Ministry of uh, Home Affairs is studies that information you know well. When is World Health Day observed? That is on April 7th, please. Next, Baba. How many bacteria dwell in just a square centimeter of your armpit approximately? My question is a very serious question, please. Now we are talking about virus, COVID-19, coronavirus. You know, it's upon a ball pin because scientists found that a very important point that upon a ball pin urge, there is a billion, billion, very helpful, billion uh, viruses, very, very dangerous thing. In same fashion, how many bacteria dwell in a just a square centimeter? You know, square centimeter, 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 centimeter. This is a space actually. If you take it as one centimeter, this is all one centimeter, so that's called a square centimeter. How many bacteria exist upon the armpit? Option A, 100 million. Option B, 50 million. Option C, 10 million. D, just 1 million. Not just 1 million, please. Option is A, that is 100 million. Not a joke. You know what's a 1 million? 1 million is called as what? It is 10 lakhs, Baba, according to our concept, our system. This is 1 million is this much. Now, point is what? 100 million. You should multiply with again what? 10 lakhs into, hope you understood now, three zeros and you can double zero. That's what? 10 lakhs into 100. You can find the answer, you know, it is of one lakh more than, that's 10 crores. So that what you can say, 100 million is a 10 crore bacteria exists on armpit, a very minute space in one centimeter space. Next question. How many times, it's easier, no doubt you can tell the answer. How many times does the heart beat approximately in a minute in every human being? How many times does the heart beat approximately in a minute in every human? Option A, 25 times, option B, 30 times, option C, 72 times and option D, 96 times. That's option C exactly what? 72 times. Next question. The retina of a human being. I can repeat in other ways. Retina of a human eye works as dash of a camera. Right? You know, a camera is there. In that one we can have lens, film, something different words are there. Shutter of the camera. Now question is same. Retina of a human eye works as dash of camera. Option A, shutter. Option B, film. Option C, lens. Option D, none. Yes, so the expectation is wrong, not the lens. It's fill. Next question, please. Which blood group is also known as universal donor? Which blood group is also known as universal donor? Option A, O. Option B, A group. Option C, B. Option D, AB group. You will expect, my dear. Definitely, you can tell the answer. That answer is exactly O group. O group is of course 
is a universal donor. Next question here. At which place? As of now, of course, very serious questions which are useful for our IAS prelims and uh, even other examinations. These are very helpful. Just I can ask you for five minutes a general questions here. At which place the first film festival was held? In which city first film festival was held? Option A, Bombay. Now you can say Mumbai, but we had option at that time is Bombay. Option B, Ahmedabad. Option C, Delhi. Option D, Hyderabad. Now it's not Hyderabad, it's Delhi. Right, John? Then one more question, of course, I can ask you here. Name the just it's recording if, because we have lost uh, a great film actor that you know, Rishi Kapoor. And uh, now the question I can ask from the same family: Who was the first actor? Who was the first actor to receive the Dada Sahib Falke Award? No need of options here. You just guess that. I give the hint. It's a Kapoor family. Who was the first actor to receive the Dada Sahib Falke Award? I can ask the same question about Dada Sahib Falke and what is the story of that. I can tell you. But for this question is Prithviraj Kapoor. Prithviraj Kapoor. And you know this Dada Sahib Falke Award. It's introduced in 1969. Remember, 1969. And you know, very important point, 1869, a very wonderful year, in same year after 100 years. 1869 is, uh, if I am not wrong, Mahatma Gandhi's birthday. But that was, that was, he born on that day, October 2nd of 1869. So after 100 years, this award announced that is Dada Sahib Falke Award. Just for the sake of remembering this, I told you. There is no relevance between this and that. Next question. I am talking about the same thing. I asked the male actress, Prithviraj. Kapoor, recording this one, name the first actress, name the first actress, recipient of Dada Sahib Falke Award. You can tell this answer, you have idea. That's Devi Karani. Now, please, I'll just go to one important question regarding the film industry and I can stop immediately because I've taken this point, uh, of course, on the part of Rishi Kapoor's uh, situation, the death, unfortunate. Now, here, which was okay? I'll do one thing. Name the first indigenous feature film, indigenous our countries, indigenous feature film, which was made by Dada Sahib Falke and at least on May 3rd, 1913. 1913, and today is May 2nd, right? Then tomorrow, May 3rd, that is the date you have to remember. The first film in India released on that day, that's May 3rd. And you may remember the year 1913, 1913. Of course, it's a Dada Sahib Falke, uh, that's main founder of that particular thing, and he's a very godfather, father of cinema industry, we can see. That's the reason we have Dada Sahib Falke Award. Option, okay, I don't want to give you the option. Tell the answer. That is Raja Harish Chandra, the first movie, and it's not the first talking movie, please. Very important. I can ask that question also now. Which was the first talkie feature film and released on March 14, 1931? The first film Raja Harish Chandra in 1913, whereas reverse digits of 13 will become 31 now. 1, 3 has become 3, 1. That is, of course, you understand how many years of time it has taken for the voice. Talkie film, it's released on March 14, 1931. That is Alam Ara, right? By that is A Irani. A stands for Ardeshir Irani. Now, last question for today. The last and final question, my youngsters. Thank you so much. I can ask you one more question. But uh, uh, first of all, I want to tell you one important point here. Thank you for the people, those who called me and told and expressed, of course, uh, regarding this event. I felt very happy that I can continue the same thing. When it is helping to some other people, of course, somebody, it's a good work, no doubt. Right? You understand one point, of course, you learn something. From my side, if it happens, it's a great thing. I feel great of it. And the people, those who call me, thank you so much. It's really a wonderful thing. I don't want to mention the names here, as you know, it's not correct. 
and uh, when you felt happy that really i am very thankful to you that thanks a lot for conveying your wishes and of course uh, uh, say convey your regards regarding this issue anyhow thank you so much i can continue definitely because it's helpful for the youngsters it's definitely i want to see the youngsters in future of my area and as i've said that's all ips officer I'm definitely civil servant that's it because we should not stop this operation right the whole tot hotel a uh, complete area should be in that condition our people must be in great place now question number the last of course for today name the first hollywood film name the first hollywood film dubbed to hindi right it's a very first movie a very big hit it is a super duper hit movie a scientifically and even people were scared of it is is it happening in in front of us like that that's movie was there yes the first dubbed movie from hollywood is jurassic park extraordinary movie of course i don't know whether people watched it or not the movie is jurassic park thank you so much my youngsters this will be continued whether people of course they are receiving very happily for that thanks a lot